guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 21 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I know! Oh my god, Beth Joy Liz! I'm so happy for him. Of course. Is your mom pregnant? Pregnant? <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh my god, because the funny thing is not me, but one of my favorite YouTuber couples. They're pregnant. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I mean, I went on YouTube like uh, while my Gal and Dino reaction was at um, editing, and I was just like, let me just go down, and then I see we're pregnant. And I'm like, ah, I'm so happy. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my god, <laughs> babies. <clears throat> <laughs> How to make Queen Deja cry in like one minute, <laughs> one minute into the show. <laughs> Finding out someone's pregnant. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing though. Oh my god. I don't even want to watch the episode now. That was like the <laughs> So, you know, yeah, this episode was really good. Good episode. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Mm. I'm to cut this ish out of my hair and wash my hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. A book with pictures in it. The babies wouldn't read it. The moms would. You know, here's the question I need to know. We're going to see this baby before this series ends? I swear to God, if we don't. Yeah, but that's a little too much work on you, though. Can I just say that was a rude thing to say, though? Well, it's not, it's not unfair, though.
that's the only thing you can do. Isn't that instrument that she's looking at the type of instrument that um, gestures would play for their kings in the medieval times, I believe? Of course. Of course, so basically the longer you take care of a child, um, the more mana they have. But I mean, still in mine's case, that's still a lot of unanswered questions. We still know a lot, like a, li a, a little bit about her devouring, I think that is what it was called, but not as much. And I, I kind of assumed that this second half of the show would have went a little more in depth into it, but it's like somewhat of a hit of me sometimes. Oh, so you play it almost like a heart. Hmm. It's pretty though. You messed up though. 
Cross Lantern. Oh, she's pretty. Would have known. This feels like a start of a really sad song that like gets so much kicks. That's not even funny. It's beautiful though. Right about that. Yeah, which means you can't give her on orders. You have to do certain things on your own. Just because you can play an instrument doesn't mean you are lazy enough.
Makes sense. Then what do you do with Rosina then? You either take her as she is and you don't. You do what you think is right. Yeah, but then what if she doesn't reflect on herself? What if she just goes into the same ways? We're not going to know until we get something. It wouldn't be fair. It, it still is not fair if you just play your instrument and everyone else just, you know, cooks and cleans and does this. It's okay, they'll teach you. It's not like she's getting angry with you. She's getting on you, yes, but it's only a warning. Mm, kind of, maybe not, but. And she'll never be her. Exactly. Take her or leave it. Don't you want that to be acknowledged? Everyone wants that. Whether it's by a friend, a family member, co-worker, your boss. So? Good. Seriously, oh, damn. <laughs> She's getting it though.
true, but it's also because of you. Maybe someone abused her in that gender. Oh. But hold on. Wait, 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 wait. When she means by flowers, she means her virginity, right? So she got raped. That's the only thing I can think about. And you know what? If it is that, that makes sense. It makes sense because even when she was looking at friend, she's okay with friend. But like I said, with someone who is a blue robe, mm -mm, no. Okay. Okay. I do like the fact, if that is true of what they're doing with this, I do like the fact that they're doing that because that's a lesson that not um, many shows, and I will say live action shows, and I've, have I seen, I've seen in some anime. But some anime haven't really given me that feeling that I need to. It gives me a little bit of sadness and, you know, um, upset for them and, like, wanting to just, you know, hold them and everything. But there are some shows that do it right and there are some shows that do it wrong. So I'm a little hopeful for it to see what they're possibly going to do uh, with Wilma because with her, and especially in this episode, it felt like it kind of was the main focus on her in a way but still it's just like a little niche to like see whatever the hell is going to happen next week so I hope we get a little more backstory on her if they don't do it it's okay that's fine I ain't gonna be mad at it but still it would be something to show your audience that you know hey this anime isn't just always sunshine and rainbows that there are really hard times where they've done it ever for 21 episodes I'm just saying but I'm just saying they could do more. So hopefully it happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it just would be better for her to just bring some clothes <laughs> when she comes to quote unquote her work. Okay, so Rosina, I like her. She's a very interesting character, but because of the fact is her previous owner um, loved arts and everything and literally gave her like the passage to play this really amazing, gorgeous instrument. It's just, I think she, she was presumed that I was just like, okay, any other person who I work with after her, it's always going to be like this. Like, I don't have to do any work. I look down on other gray robes, but I do like the fact that, you know, mine, in a way, sort of put her in her place because if it wasn't mine, who was going to do it? Somebody was. I don't think if, it, if anybody else had to did it, mine, they wouldn't have been as nice as mine was. I mean, you know, even with her saying, you can still stay with me or you can go back to the orphanage. It's a take it or leave it situation. It's a win-win situation. It's either damned if you do, damned if you don't. And so I'm glad, you know, Rosina chose to stay with her because the tension between the other three and her was just oof. Like, oh my God, you just feel so bad because they're like, oh my God, these three are working hard and this one's just sitting here, you know, playing her fucking instrument all fucking day and somebody was bound to crack I would have loved to see like a lot more like someone yelling at her having a really good argument with her and she's just sitting here like well why in the world are you getting mad at me what the hell did I do but mm, it's okay I'm happy with this episode especially with the pregnancy at the beginning so yeah other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episodes 21 of ascendance of a bookworm if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 22 bye guys